How does this represent, let's talk about Djibouti first, how does this represent a challenge, if not a threat, for Indian interests? Uh, Vishnu, this is uh, really, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's very good that you, you acquired such fine, uh, high resolution satellite pictures, which is more than one can say about most of our channels and focus on national security issues. But this is really nothing new because the Chinese started negotiating for Djibouti, uh, a base in Djibouti in 2015 or so. And I think by 2017, they had a base uh, nearly operational. Uh, and, and as you perhaps know that Djibouti is a very uh, strategically located port <clears throat> at the mouth of the Red Sea, um, overlooking the Babel Mandal Strait. It is already it, it already had uh, a U.S. detachment, a Japanese detachment, and a French detachment there. So the Chinese have now established a foothold there. It's it's an important place to be, and you can understand the Chinese desire to be there because. Um, much of their trade, um, a huge proportion of their trade and energy transits through either the Red Sea or the Persian Gulf. So it is not a surprise for, for many people that um, this base has come up the way it has. It's of course, it should be an area of concern and I'm sure the Indian Navy is keeping a close watch on all the developments, the ins and outs that goes on in Djibouti. <clears throat> Admiral Sinha, um, Gwadar in Pakistan, Djibouti uh, of, uh, in Africa, and Hambantota and Sri Lanka, Hambantota, the Chinese, it's effectively theirs. They have a 99-year lease. Um, what does this mean for India? Well, Vishnu, thank you for getting me on this uh, program. Uh, you know, this only completes the string of pearls, and there would be probably some more bases which uh, come up on the east coast of Africa. There's a lot of talk that the Chinese are negotiating to get a base. Uh, my own sense is that there will be a frequent movement of Chinese warships in this area uh, and their collusion with Pakistan Navy, who they are giving eight submarines and uh, three stroke four frigates or uh, destroyers. Uh, the, the maneuvering space of the Indian Navy is certainly going to shrink. Uh, the freedom with which the ships and submarines used to move around in uh, Arabian Sea, uh, that's not going to happen. Or if it happens, it has to be done with a lot of caution. So that is my first reaction. And since you have shown a very uh, sort of high resolution, uh, you know, pictures, I would also uh, say that, you know, days are not very far, maybe six, seven, eight years, uh, that the Chinese Navy would probably have a Indian, uh, sorry, the Indian Ocean Fleet uh, somewhere in one of these bases most likely, uh, you know, my sense is either on the east coast of Africa or in Gwadar. Because Zabuti, while the base is quite big, uh, you know, the seeing the size of the jetty and the manner in which it is there, it looks like it's more of a offloading uh, base. Uh, you see the ramp uh, just behind the uh, the LST, the landing ship. Yeah. Uh, probably it is being used for, you know, offloading the uh, tanks and uh, 